Maadhimisho ya miaka sitini ya ugunduzi wa fuvu la zama damu Zinja Stropas Boyze. Tanzania inafahamika duniani kuwa ndio chimbuko la binadamu na utamaduni wao. We will not be able to face the future if we do not understand the past. If we want to understand humans today, we need to understand humans in the past. Everything that we are was actually created here almost 2 million years ago. Kwenye bonde la Old Dubai ndipo sehemu lilipogunduliwa fuvu la Zinja Tropas Boyze lenye umri wa miaka milion moja nukta saba tano iliyopita Zinja Tropas hili ni fuvu la mtu wa kale ambalo liligunduliwa mwaka 1959 tarehe 17 Julai pale Old Dubai Gorge pale Old Dubai ndio mahali peke yake duniani ambapo yamegundulika uwepo wa Zinja Anthropus hili ilikuwa ndio fuvu la zamani kuliko yote kugundulika duniani na Homo sapiens hao wote ni aina fulani ya spishi ya binadamu walikuwa mahali pamoja kwa wakati mmoja na tunasema kwa Kiingereza Tanzania is the cradle of humanity ndipo binadamu wa kwanza alivotokea akasambaa dunia nzima na kabla halijagunduliwa dunia yote walikuwa wanaelewa kwamba chimbuko la mwanadamu bila shaka lilitoka bara la Asia kwa sababu kwa wakati huo kulikuwa na fuvu la Homo erectus everybody were thinking that the only point in Africa to study the earlier stages of human evolution was South Africa at that point not much was known from East Africa fuvu la zinj liligunduliwa na wataalamu wa kiolojia Dr. Louis Lake na mke wake Dr. Mary Lake tarehe saba mwezi wa saba mwaka 1959 kwenye bonde la Dubai Old Dubai Gorge so there are seven beds it's bed 1 2 3 4 4 and Dutu and Naishushu. the oldest one is bed 1 and the lower part of the, of the bed 1 is here below taf 1c since was living below this this taf Odvai lina hadithi hiyo ya kuanzia miaka milioni nne iliyopita na kuna vielelezo ambavyo vinaonesha jinsi mwanadamu alivyokuwa anabadilika mpaka kufikia mwanadamu ambaye tunamwona sasa hivi anaitwa Homo sapiens. Ugunduzi huu ndiyo uliosababisha uelewa wa wanasayansi kuhusu mchango wa bara la Afrika katika historia ya chimbuko la binadamu duniani. Eneo la FLK Zinje alikopatikana fuvu la Zinjantropus do window pekee ambayo tunaelewa lini binadamu wa miaka milioni mbili walifanya. Kwa hiyo masalia yaliyopatikana hapa ni mengi na yamehifadhiwa kwenye makumbusho ya taifa, yamefanyiwa utafiti na yanatuonesha sasa tabia zao. Tabia gani hasa? Tabia tunayojifunza hapa ni tabia ya kushirikiana kula chakula pamoja. Maana tumeona Babu zetu hawa wamekuwa wakienda mbali wanaleta chakula nyumbani wanakula hapa maana yake wanakumbuka kuna mtu nyumbani wanakumbuka kuna watoto nyumbani wanakumbuka kuna watu wengine nyumbani tabia hii kwa mara ya kwanza imeonekana hapa miaka milioni mbili iliyopita tabia nyingine ambayo tunaiona ni kutumia zana za mawe zana zilizokuwa zinatumika hapa ni za aina tofauti tofauti na wamekuwa wakiboresha zana zao kutokana na mahitaji zana kwanza ndo hizo teknolojia ya kwanza hawa watu wa kale walianza kutengeneza zana za mawe manake ni nini manake hawa watu wa kale au zamadamu walitengeneza zana na kumbe walitumia hizi zana za mawe kuchuna na kukatia nyama. Visukuku vilivyopatikana kwenye bonde la Dubai vinathibitishia dunia kuwa Tanzania ndiyo nchi pekee yenye taarifa bora na sahihi kuhusu chimbuko la binadamu wote duniani. Yaani the cradle of humankind. Na bahati nzuri sana tabaka la udongo la Dubai pia lina chembe chembe za volkano ambazo majivu haya yanaweza yakapimwa umri. Kwa hiyo walipokuja kupima umri wakagundua kwamba 
ni miaka milioni moja nukta saba tano. Na tangu wakati ule ikabadilisha kabisa mtazamo wa watu kisayansi watu wakaijua Tanzania. When the zinch was discovered, this showed to the world that East Africa had to play a major role in, in our history, our evolutionary history. And it was precisely after 1959 that foundations started investing into research of human evolution here. And that was, that was a fantastic moment because it was precisely because of the discovery of Singe that archaeologists started discovering not just the hominin remains, but also the uh, places where they were living. Right here behind me, behind where the Singe was found, was the most important site for 20th century to understand how these early humans were behaving. This is just exceptional, it's unique to uh, East Africa and more specifically to Olduvai Gorge here in Tanzania. I wanted to come here because Olduvai is the cradle of human king and it's an amazing place to study the origins of the human evolution. Kutokana na masali ambayo Tanzania inayo na umuhimu wa Olduvai hakika hakuna anaye pinga kuonyesha kwamba chimbuko la mwanadamu duniani lilikuwa Tanzania na yamkini lilikuwa pale Olduvai. Exceptional thing about Olduvai is that basically everything that these archaeologists are digging stays pretty much the same way that humans two million years ago left them on the ground. There is nowhere else in the world, not in Europe, not in Asia, even in most of Africa, where you can actually approach that moment, the beginning of humankind. This is one of the very few places where you can study that period. And of the few places where you can actually approach how we became humans, this Olduvai Gorge is the best one. Mwaka elfu mbili na kuminatisa, wizara ya maliasili na utali kupitia mamla kaifazi ya ngorongoro inazimisha miyaka sitini ya ugunduzi wa fuvu la binadamu wa kale, Zinch. Siku ya tare kuminasaba, itakuwa miyaka sitini kamili, toka fuvu lile ligunduliwe. Miyaka sitini na enyewe ni kivutio. Kwa zinji ni kivutio ambacho kija kuliona huta sahau. Ndo hapa hapa hii slogan ina ukuja Tanzania unforgettable. Na mwaka huu ndiyo mwaka ambao tunadhimisha damu njubile ya ugunduzi huu ambao ulifanyika tarikumna saba mwezi wa saba ndani ya nchi yetu ya Tanzania. Tungependa dunia ijue hivyo kwa saa tunafahamu angependa na onye ukuja kuangalia kuona haya mambo ya livokuwa. Kwa sababu ni fuvu muhimu halionekani ovyo ovyo linatunzwa kwenye mazingira malumu na ya ulinzi mkali. Lengo la mazimisho haya ni kutoa elimu kwa jamii kuhusu umuhimu wa urithi wa asili na utamaduni tulionao. Kuendeleza tafiti, uhifadhi endelevu, matumizi bora na sahihi ya urithi wa utamaduni na kuendeleza utalii wa nchi yetu na dunia kwa jumla. Katika mazimisho ya miaka sitini ya Zinj, mamlaka ya hifadhi ya Ngorongoro ikishirikiana na makumbusho ya taifa, idara ya mambo ya kale, idara ya ekolojia na urithi wa utamaduni wa chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam wameandaa yafuatayo. Kwanza, kutakuwa na warsha ya wadau itakayofanyika tarehe 16 mwezi wa saba mwaka 2019. Watafiti mbali mbali wanaofanya tafiti zao kwenye mabonde ya Olduvai na Laitoli watatoa mada. Pili, kutakuwa na kampeni ya utalii wa ndani kuanzia tarehe 17 hadi tarehe 22 mwezi wa saba mwaka 2019 ambapo Watanzania watapata fursa kutembelea bonde la Olduvai na kuona eneo ambalo fuvu la Zinj liligunduliwa na kuona shughuli za kitafiti. Utafanyika uzinduzi rasmi wa makumbusho ya LIC sehemu ambayo familia ya LIC ilikuwa ikiishi na kufanya shughuli zake za kitafiti maeneo ya Ngorongoro kuanzia mwaka 1930. Mimi ningependa kwa kweli kwa moyo mkunjufu kuwakaribisha Watanzania wote kusherekea hili tukio la uvumbuzi wa Zinj na waielewe Ngorongoro kwa maana zote sio tu kwa maana ya ya wanyamapori na kreta lakini waelewe kwamba kuna mambo kale mengi na wakaribisha sana wa Tanzania wote. Karibu kwenye mazimisho ya miaka sitini ya fuvu la Zinj, fuvu ambalo ni maarufu duniani na nilipata nishani ya dhahabu kwenye maonesho ya Expo huko Japani mwaka 1970.